and the rest of the fire team beat your chest. He's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. He's Here's the lineup for Senators with Technical. Their goalkeeper, Janoy Stedman. The captain, number two, Dante Campbell. Othniel Anderson, Antoine Smith, Nicarda Smith, Najee Brown, Dante Hewitt, DeAndre Hibbert, Raul Hill, AJ Smith, and a Joanio Gordon. They're coached by Omar Rambo Wedderburn. They line up as a 4 4 2 will Stets. The captain is there, Dante Campbell. Looking forward for a great season. This is season. Let's see what he can deliver as he leads his team. The referees, they have their own moment. And let's have a quick look now at the Monroe College lineup. Their goalkeeper, Omar Farrakhan, Siddiqui Sivarian, Kristen Howell, Brashain Wind, Daniel Bowen, Javier Beckford, Ryan Bins, Tristan Ford, Yujante Johnson, Jason Wilson, and Marcus Forrester. They're coached by Patrick Jackie Walters, the old wily tactician has many titles in schoolboy football does Jackie Walters score St. Elizabeth Technical 1 Monroe College 1 yeah sunshine when this game started St. Elizabeth Technical had the early proceedings going in their favor that header just over the crossbar they had another shot from the Jay Brown Goalkeeper Farrakhan, who had an excellent game, equal to the task. The goal would have opened in the 35th minute. Hewitt, a delightful ball into the path of Hibbert, and he finished with a plum. Yeah, four goals for him this season, and that goal certainly will be in many of his highlight reels based on the magnitude of this encounter. The Stets derby, another look at the finish. Farrakhan, who had a great game, you really can't fault him. He really did well there, did Hibbert to convert that one. That was a great goal, and all of Santa Cruz was excited, but look at this one for a finish. From Wind to the captain, Bowen, and what a strike that was. Twisting his body, getting all his weight behind it. What a strike, what a worldly, what a fantastic effort. And two minutes later, the game was level. Here's another strike. Farrakhan had to do a double save there. From the hand and then from the chest. Stets would send this one. Farrakhan holding on for dear life. Christopher Mason bringing an end to the proceedings. One all. Stets and Monroe. Here are the full-time match statistics. 15 shots, 9 to Stets. Six shots on target, four of them to Stets. Eleven fouls apiece, a yellow card apiece. Four offsides for Stets, one for Monroe. Nine corners, five to Stets. Three saves made by Farrakhan in goal for Monroe. 53% of the possession to Stets. But the statistic that matters is the goals, one apiece. We go to Gerard, he has the water player of the match. Let's find out who it was. Thank you so much, Dean. The water player of the match, obviously none other than Daniel Bowen. Daniel, talk me through that goal. When you saw that ball coming towards you, what was going through your mind? Uh, trust me, eh? Whoa, I don't even know what to say right now because I'm a defender and a goal like that isn't a defender goal. Trust me, so it's a wonderful feeling and I'm so happy for that goal. Is, is it something that you go through on the training ground. Pardon me? Do you really do you work on it on the training ground? No, I work on headers. I'm a defender, I score headers. 
Oh yeah, yeah, but it really was a good goal. Uh, Thank you. Did you like this result? Do you think that Man Rush will come out on top or can you live with it? Um, it's not the result that we wanted, but we got a point. That's the great thing. We didn't lose. All right. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Thank and you, we'll sir. See you throughout the season. Thank you. Yeah, that was Daniel Bowen there, the water player of the match. Let's have a, a chat now with the Monroe coach, the man himself, Jackie Waters. Coach, talk to me about this game. Or are you happy with this result? Well, playing states at states is always a difficult task, always a challenge. I think our, our players stood up to it. You know, our game was kind of out of character, how, how we normally play. But we had to make the adjustment in terms of how sets play. Yeah, well, throughout the game you were seated, very cool, very calm. What would you have said to the boys that was enough for you to just make sure that they go out there and get the well, job done? understandably, during halftime, we had a discussion about the game and what we wanted to achieve in the second half. And Sometimes football is not so much with the feet, but up here, up in, in terms of the head. So I think that basically they understood that. And I must say, we have a one, I have a wonderful assistant coach in Damon Stewart, a.k.a. Stupies, which is doing a tremendous job. All right, Coach, well, talk to me now about the trajectory about the rest of the season. Uh, you're in the, the playoff positions right now, of course, and you're looking to get out of this group. Do you think it can, you can do so and probably at the top of yes, it? Yes, man, without a doubt. You know, um, one would expect that states would have been in there. So the important thing is not to lose the states. That is critical. And, and we achieved that today. All right, Coach, well, well done to you. Yeah, man, thank you. Thank you so much. That was Coach Walters there. And uh, embracing Coach Omar Redburn, who we'll have a chat with. There we go. <laughs> Coach, uh, throughout the entire game, you wanted your boys to be a little bit more confident on the ball. Were you disappointed about the fact that they were playing as if they were the away team? No, you know, you know, it was a very physical game, you know. Playing against Monroe, you know, always going to be something special, you know. And I think the both teams come out here today looking for three points, but God knows, we didn't need the one today, but unfortunately, I say it come down. I was very impressed with the defensive effort from the Stets team. It is something that you've placed a bit of an emphasis on for this season. Does that win titles for you? Yes, you know, because the end idea game, the finish until the referee walk off, you know, so we intend to play until the referee call it, you know, so... It's a mixed feeling to us this game. Not 100% happy, not 100% sad, you know. But I really appreciate it. It was entertaining. And I think, as I said, the physicality of this game, I really love it today. Yeah, would you say, though, that this was the hardest game of the season for you? And do you see that getting this result means that you'll get out of the group? No, the result, me not really satisfied with it. Three points all the way. Every game we play hard, you know. This zone is very competitive, it don't matter who we play against. So, you know, going up against my grandfather always be something. Look, uh, he always have a little mind game towards it, you know, because I understand him, him understand me. So, you know, it's all what the player come and deliver on the day. But, as I say, not 100% glad, not 100% sad. All right, yeah. of course. Thank you so much. Big up on yourself. Fall. But you never will know until the whistle blows around. Come and join the show.